To solve this equation, we must find common denominators for the x terms and common denominators for the constant terms. For the x term, the common denominator is 6. So we will multiply 1 half x times 3 over 3. For the constant term, the common denominator is 12. So we're going to multiply negative 4 times 12 over 12. Once we have created fractions with common denominators, we will rewrite it. 3 6 x minus 48 over 12 equals 5 twelfths plus 5 6 x. To solve this equation, we now want to put the x terms on one side. So we're going to subtract negative 3 6 x from both sides of the equation. At the same time, we're also going to subtract negative 5 twelfths from both sides of the equation. This allows us to have the constant term on the left side of the equation and the variable term on the right side of the equation. When we subtract, we end up with negative 53 twelfths on the left side of the equation and 2 6 x on the right side of the equation. Now since 2 6 x can be simplified, we are going to simplify it. So we have 53 twelfths equals 1 third x. To solve for x, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal is 3 over 1. When we multiply by the reciprocal, we discover that there's a constant term that we can cancel. 3 goes into 12 four times. So when we multiply across 1 times negative 53, we end up with negative 53 in the numerator, and 1 times 4 is positive 4. Our final answer is x equals negative 53 fourths.